sense, this is non-fiction. So excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain, you were entertaining. What's good everybody, it's your boy Nonfiction coming back at you one more time with a brand new reaction. And this time the reaction is for new movie coming to HBO Max called Kimmy featuring Zoe Kravitz. Now, just to give you kind of idea what the movie is about, it says after an agoraphobic, te agoraphobic tech worker discovers recorded evidence of a violent crime during an ordinary data stream review, she tries reporting up the chain of command at her company. Met with resistance and bureaucracy, she realizes that in order to get involved, she will have to do the thing she fears the most, leave her apartment. <laughs> so, um, like I said, it's coming to HBO Max uh, on... February 10th, I believe, 2022. And of course, just listening from what the story of the character who is a Gorfo, that means that she's a, a super, super high fear of disease and getting sick or, you know, something like that. So she's very self conscious of keeping the house clean and keeping themselves clean. And the outside world is just the way it looks, is, is terrifying. Like she, they can see a person who fears that can see disease and sickness and stuff. You know, all around them. So it's something that manifests heavily in their head and their brain. And it's psycho like the psychology of it makes them, you know, fearful of doing certain things, being more, they're more, way more introverted than normal, uh, than your average person. I'll say that. I won't say normal, your average person. Normal, not the right word. But with that being said, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Wrong cover. With that being said, let's get actually right into it. Once again, it's called Kimmy. Coming out February 2022, HBO Max. Oh, let me. Oh, wait. Before we do that, let's. You might want to listen to it. <laughs> let's get the get the volume up. All right, y'all. Here we go. Kimmy, I'm here. What time is it? It's 7:26 a.m. Kimmy, I'm here. Call oh. Dr. Burns. I got her. What do you want from me? Kimmy? I'm here. Why don't you run from me? Call Darius. Hey, hotness. <laughs> what do you want from me? Hey, hotness. Steven Soderbergh. Okay. Reopen last stream on desktop. I need more kitchen paper. Open yesterday's stream. Mm. I'm a voice stream interpreter. I may have heard a crime on one of the streams. The devices pick up lots of things. <laughs> Just mark this degraded audio and delete it. I am not capable and you know it. I think a woman might need help. How do I find out who she is? You need a device number and the admin code. Will you make me one? This is last favor, Cardinus. Close your files, come to my office. We'll listen to the recordings together. Miss Childs, I have to know what we're dealing with. We're dealing with what sounds like a premeditated murder. How do I know that? Because I just told you. Twice now. Maybe you've just replaced your real stresses with this. Can we? Yeah, let's see. I can definitely see I understand where this is going. Some mental health leave in the past. Why is that in my file? Ah, uh, yeah. You said you had her. They did. But now they don't. Kimmy, bedtime lights. Is he the only copy? I emailed it to everyone I know this morning. Kimmy, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is one of those quasi psychodramas where. You kind of not sure who's on her or the character doesn't know who's on her actual side. As the story starts to develop, you realize that the people that was set up in the story to be her friends, coworkers, most of them probably in on something that they shouldn't be in on something. I mean, not in 
said that same thing. Most of them are in on something that they probably shouldn't be in on. But I've seen we've seen stories like this. Now, just if if they can recapture that those that story and still keep that thrill, that sense of danger and emergency, and her acting is what's going to take it to the next level. And kind of already can kind of see Zoe. I think Zoe is a talented actress. Love her with the new hair color too. I like that. But this will be this will be interesting. And they, the fact that it's on HBO HBO uh, Max is a plus. You know what I'm saying? Because as we can see. The world is still in the chaotic sense that it is right now with the Omarion. And <laughs> so more people are less likely to go to theaters, even though, you know, that one movie did really, 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 really good. I'm not going to say it because it's not, I don't want to disrespect this movie by talking about another movie. Um, I'll be watching this. Let me know. Do you, do you feel like after watching this trailer and after watching my reaction to the trailer? It is something that you think you might want to watch. And I and I, I asked you also too, when you think about how the movie looks, her being a, uh, working at home remote, which is a big thing right now because of how the world is is how the world situation is. So a lot more people are working from home. And they and they've been working from home for the last two and a half years. It's not like remote is new. It's just in abundance now because of how the world is and businesses are trying to learn that they can save more money by letting people work from home. So it's very similar to what's going on right now in that aspect. The whole, and just her being an agoraphobic is also playing into that, the, the idea of like, it kind of feels, makes it feel, makes it feel modern, not like a, like a dystopian future or, you know, the past. It makes it feel like it's happening right now. So the idea behind that, I think, is a good idea. Smart, smart, smart writing, smart marketing. Um, I think this will be cool, though. I think it'll be cool. I'm going to watch this one. I definitely will watch this one. And I definitely should. I want to watch it and report back to you guys. So February 10th, 2021. I'm going to have to remember that so I can watch it and do an actual movie review. But hope you enjoyed the reaction. Hope you enjoyed the trailer as well. <sighs> if you made it to this part of the video, please don't forget to leave a yellow heart. And, of course, a like. Because if you like the video then like the video. Of course, you, you know the deal. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. Be Join the Fiction Fam. I'm just hitting all the wrong buttons right now. Join the Fiction Fam. Subscribe. Notification bell. Come back. And if there's a video that you would like me to react to, don't forget, you can also put it, tag it in the comments with a link. And I'll check it out. And I'll do my best to do a reaction for that video. Hope you have a wonderful day night, evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today. My name is Nonfiction, and I hope that you're having a great week. Peace, love, I'm out, y'all.